Howdy guys, I'm Aiden of Blue Couch Productions and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight with co-op commentary. With me today is Kyle. What's up? Yes, we've done that five times now. <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't figured it out by this point... <laughs> you, you might be a little bit in trouble, you know? <laughs> this is a co-op series for those who didn't know. And uh, today, we're going to be going to the Lost City, the Lair of Mole Knight. A very visually interesting stage. Yes. Uh, not a fan of this I'll... theme, though. Yes. And there's, like, a secret immediately <laughs> to the right there. Oh. Right we go. Yee. And trying to get this as Plague Knight's kind of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I bet. With all these exploding things here. Yeah, because he explodes the ground underneath him when he bomb jumps. Tisk tisk. So it's like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, they really probably should have changed some of the level designs around. Yeah, that would have that would have made Plague Knight a lot better. I mean, it's good once you get into it, but right at the start, especially, it's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just not thought about it, but like, my controller is fairly close to the mic. If you've been hearing button inputs the whole time, uh, uh, ever so often. Eh, apologies about that, I guess. And probably... there's a wall to smack. Ah, I saw it right when it was too late. Okay, hold on. Oh, I need to hit that other brick. Somehow. Fuck. Get over here. Or you could die. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <clears throat> Is it really... <sighs> Please, uh, let's go phase real quick. I know, even better. I oh, know that didn't. Oops. Oh no! <laughs> I thought that got rid of blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. Yikes. That's okay. Hello, if you really want to go back up there, you can just fall in the lava. This guy scares me, but I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. His lighting is just a little too good. <laughs> His proportions yeah. are a little too accurate. <laughs> he's, he's just a little off. Yeah. Honestly, I think the only thing we missed up there was just more treasure. Okay. And Thank maybe you. a music note, but yeah. We're doing, we're doing okay. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Probably not the best idea, but oh well. I don't want to. There's another waste, wall smacking. Waste time unnecessarily. You. Oh yeah. There we go. Eh. This is just. Yeah, Mold Knight's not exactly a hard boss. Or even a hard level, even. Yeah. It's a very Has pleasant a romp. And y'all might remember that we were griping about underused mechanics. Oh, this is well, number one on my list of them. <laughs> this one has the underused of the underused mechanics. I love this it, mechanic. Yeah. When and we I don't, see it, and we we'll don't mention need the bouncy wizard bug thing. Yeah. Trust me, you'll see us when we get to it. It's, it's great. I love what they're able to do with it and kind of the cool things they can get. That's why I don't put, like, Mole Knight as my most forgettable knight. I know a lot of people would make that distinction. Uh, but for me, I like his fight a lot more, and I like the stage a lot more because of the that interesting yeah. mechanic. So he's a little yeah. bit higher up. <laughs> yeah, although Plague Knight, or uh, not Plague Knight, uh, Sh uh, Treasure Knight and Mole Knight are definitely the least favorite members of the Order of No Quarter. Probably. I think if we ever get an expansion of those two, like how weird that'll be. <laughs> yeah. Um, be like I everyone's favorite the... character. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the secret is on top of that ledge there to the right. All right. Like that's where we get the item. If my memory serves, which it may not. Let's see here. There's something up here. Yeah. If it's not the item, it's money. And you know, money. I like money. Shovel Knight's a game of Oh, money. shit. This area is a fucking nightmare, is Plague Knight. Because <laughs> you can't jump on fish. Oh, no. Like, he doesn't have a pogo bouncer, that slashy thing that Spectre Knight does. Yeah, music. Although, it's honestly kind of a bitch of Spectre Knight, too. Spectre Knight stages are kind of weird now that I think about it, because they're, like, half new and half old. Right, right, right. They have, like, similar themes, but... A little bit different with their mechanics and how you move around. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure this... Oh. 
I... entire room is just copy pasta. A little too impatient there. It's fine. J j Do we already just... get it? Do we have to go back or not? Um, that was just money, I think. Well, the music. So you now. might want to go back for the money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you keep the music, no, but you might want to get the money you drop. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we've got about four grand, so we should be able to get the thing. Ah! You're fucked. Ooh. I wasn't supposed to do it that way, was I? No. <laughs> I have to hit the top part? Yeah, you have to hit the top part if you even want to have a chance at surviving. Gotcha. I'm getting careless. You can tell. Yes, you are. I'm just doing a little bit of that in Treasure Knight, and now I'm doing it here. Like, I have played Shovel Knight like four or five times. How hard can it... Okay, stop. Uh, how hard can it be? <laughs> Why did I do it again? Do it again. <laughs> uh, I I instinctually when I jump hold down that thing when I should. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard to. It's really easy to mess that one up because of instinct. I'm not gonna lie. I did it. I did it a couple times when, back when I played this last too. Because every other part in the game, most times pogoing down on terrain like that is a fairly safe bet. Okay. Now we I'm do it. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that, Jim. <laughs> we got to. Yeah, we're doing we're doing grand. Yeah. But the whole collecting money aspect is the main. One yeah, now the this one, main you know, this one can confuse. Yeah, this one confused the hell out of me when I did this. Cause I thought you actually had to trigger the bottom one at some point, but no. Nah, we're good. Although it's really easy to accidentally trigger the bottom one, especially if you go trying to kill those slimes. This mechanic. Back to all the yeah. Uh, right here. This, so good. This one. Go back, left, left, left. Ooh. There's a wall. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Yeah, and I think this might be where you get the. Yes, this is the okay, room. Okay, good deal. Now I don't have to feel bad about missing that first one. It was just treasure. Yeah. Hello, Chester. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? Yep, because we need you for uh, that little trial thing. Plus, this, uh, this relic is just really cool and underused. Yeah, yeah. Again, punch, punch, another punch, cool punch, part punch, of the punch, stage punch, punch. that we don't see a lot of. Yeah. I mean, you can use it in spots if you want to. And this one is really cool. This one is kind of like the spinner yeah. in Twilight Princess. Really cool. Really never given a chance to shine outside of one area. That one area. Yeah. But it's fun while you have it. Mm-hmm. And the whole Knuckles Quarry challenge is so much better than the Forced Evolution. By yes. By landslide. It forced teaches them a oh, forced of whatever. Forced yeah. fuckery, as I like to call it. Uh, <laughs> yes. But it does a good job of making you learn that Knuckles Quarry while also not being a dick. Weird. Weird how you can do that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Fishing today. What could it be? Yes. Uh, Although, now that I think about it, I really miss the... Uh... Um, uh, dungeon design like the um, Arbiter's Grounds. Uh, the Arbiter's Grounds was amazing. I've heard about that. Jeez, I, have you not played any? That. Have you not played Twilight Princess? Uh, most 3D Zelda's I've not played. Oh. I'm a bit more well versed in the 2D ones, but Zelda as a whole is one of those franchises that like I don't play yes. a whole lot of either because I don't have it or I get very irritated with dungeons. Yes, yeah, some of the some of the dungeons and especially in the 3D Zelda games can get a Fuck. bit on can, can get a, can be a bit on the fuckery side. That's the thing too, like if I'm playing Zelda, like I'm more of the type of guy who wants the exploration factor, like cool combat in an interesting world. Puzzle solving in dungeon stuff is not my strong suit at all. <laughs> it never has been, and, and Zelda makes that painfully clear uh, about how yeah. adept I am at solving puzzles like that. Which, yeah. nothing against the game, and a lot of people come to Zelda for that, and that's totally cool, uh, but it's one of the things that holds me off, and is one of the reasons why I've played more of Breath of the Wild than probably any other 3D Zelda. Just because there's yeah. less of them. <laughs> and because, and I am one of the people that, di that really digs the dungeon design and the puzzles, in Zelda, which is one of the reasons I'm not that big a fan. That uh, I'm not as enthused for Breath of the Wild as a lot of other people are. Sure. Jay's like that with the uh, fuck. Jay's like that with the Twilight Princess dungeons. He is such a fan of them. 
He's talked yeah. about them so much on occasion. Ocarina's <laughs> yeah. too, a little bit, actually, now that I think about it. Fuck. Whoa. Okay. Um. Coming out with the swear words today, I don't know what it is. I'm getting, getting, getting angry. Ooh. What the hell was I going to say? Uh, but yeah, the dungeon design in Breath of the Wild isn't terrible. Like, the ancient beasts aren't bad, per se. Sure. They just aren't as good. I will say, like... Well, okay. I like I the fact that there aren't many, but it's very much the same gimmick in all of them, right? Yeah, like, turn the thing! Uh, what thing? Uh, turn, uh, in Breath of the Wild, the main gimmick for the dungeons is oh, turn yeah, the yeah. thing! Yeah, yeah, It's all physics-based stuff. Yeah. Now, I've heard that the DLC dungeon is a uh, separate kettle of fish entirely. You have really... Th the timing on that is kind of a bitch. It is. Yeah. Okay. You're just gonna just hug gonna it, chuck it. it. There you go. Clayton, I, I us That usually gives me more trouble than that. I died several times for that first try. And, okay... When we were doing this, we could not figure out how to get back here. Uh, yeah, smack a blob, and then smack another blob. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, it's like twice, as, it's a lot simpler than you think it is going in. Just look at that, that is perfectly positioned. <laughs> yeah. Phew. That's, that's totally a second playthrough thing. If you found that yeah, on your first playthrough, congrats. Yeah, now there's another secret up there. Almost didn't reach it, it's pretty scary. Yeah, I was I was nervous you were gonna fall back in the lava. I'm like, Ugh. okay. Good deal. But then there's another fucking timing thing with the shovel. I believe we got. And I usually have a million more problems with that. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was awesome. Clean. Okay. Now. And then this is another one of those ones. Stop. Rooms. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I'll take that hit. Don't use mine. <laughs> yeah, we cannot fight you right now because you are a dick. Clean. Ruin that guy's day. Not clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess we're leaving it there. <laughs> I guess. Not like we got a choice. Right, and our yeah, gross beetle friend then... is back. Yay. Ah! There's a door to your left. Really? Yeah. Well, I would have died anyway. <laughs> that beetle wasn't coming back. Yeah, it would have come back if you had uh, ran through the room, but you can get the stuff back. I wasn't bad at video games when it came back. Yeah. More Knuckles Corey stuff. Yeah. I mean, we got to take every opportunity to use this thing. Agreed, yes. Because the game certainly doesn't. For those wondering how it works, you kind of have to, like, mash it each use. Yeah, like, when you first use it, it's a little... You think it, like, goes in a line a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no way to get those other two back. That's a bummer. We're doing um, an outlet. Yeah. True. Um, but yeah, like, once you get the hang of using it, it's like, why do you use this and more? <laughs> because fuck you. <laughs> you want to use the cool mechanic? You go out of your way to find places to use the cool mechanic. Exactly. Like, right here now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, this would have been good. Or we could just use the other cool mechanic. <laughs> one of many in Shovel Knight. And smack that skull. That one I knew. <laughs> and I think there might be more hidden in the tail. Ooh? No. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, I think it was just Shovel Knight, who had, or Plague Knight, who had more hidden in the tail. Yeah, but thank you for helping me find all these secrets, because I would have gone right past 99% of them. <laughs> Even after playing this game multiple times, I still, like, get tripped up on them. And now for th this fat bastard. You're out of your death, Spelunker. Are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Mole Knight. They're mine now. But more importantly, is that your digging implement? Ha 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 I don't see the ages name on these ruins. Exactly. Where at? Where's the name tag on here? I'm Show astonished me you a... made it ten feet down with that rusty trinket. I will bury you. <laughs> Show me a document of ownership. Exactly. Where the deed at? Yeah. Female Mole Knight. Is basically the same thing, but with a concaved area that is supposed to indicate that she has breasts. Cool. It is really a the laziest design. <laughs> Out of all of them. Yeah. Cool. Yo, this ancient civilization, like, kind of interested in seeing some of their slime technology. 
I mean, I guess we got to saw a little bit of the beetle and stuff, but like, I want to know what other cool yeah. stuff you, do you do with that? In fact, now that I think about it, Ball Knight stage is literally so big that you could have an entire like game just take place in that ancient city. <laughs> yeah. And that would actually be pretty, I, I would play that. If you really wanted to. This cave is big enough here. Right, fine. I mean, done. honestly, if they make a Mole Knight DLC, then it just needs to be the Knuckle Dusters make, given their proper due. Yeah, and slime. <laughs> we don't even have to play this Mole Knight. Just give me this environment and those mechanics. That's all I want. Yeah. Like, I'm really curious as to how the King Knight DLC is going to turn out, because... And the Spectre Knight DLC showed that they can do new... That they can change up the environment fairly easily. Uh, change up the stages and the core mechanics for the stages, so... Wow, okay, I thought you were dead. Didn't we all? Die, you fat fuck! Got e. Very easy fight there. Easier yeah. than Treasure Knight. And then the little moles carry away the Mole Knight. No! They're really creative with their designs. I love the Mole Knight design. Did, yeah. Did, those two things just do not deserve to be put together, but man, did they take that dumb idea and execute on it well. They really did. You could say that for a lot about Shovel Knight, of a lot of things that are kind of goofy or don't make sense or characters that are weird, but they're all in that yeah. good Yacht Club sense of humor and design that makes it all work. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else Yacht Club has actually made. I don't think anything else. <laughs> Well, they've been busy with DLC, with actually making quality DLC for this, so. Not sure. even DLC, it's just free content. Free stuff. Yeah. Like, I thought I'd have to buy the Spectre Knight and Plague Knight DLCs, but no. Nope. I got it I got it for $20 on Steam. Got yeah, the I got treasure trove. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah, that's the price. That's just the general price on Steam, isn't it? Yeah. And you can yeah, buy the mine. expansion separately if you really want to. If you want to be that yeah, guy. Yeah, why would you? <laughs> uh, don't forget the fireplace. Ooh, only you can prevent forest fires. Um, but yeah, I got mine for twenty bucks. The three DS version for twenty bucks at a retro at a at a used game store. Used game store. And there goes the fog. The third area, and a little bit of smoke covering the final one. And this asshole getting in the way of an area we need to. Yeah, he will have to die. <laughs> Oh, not this shit again. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> Look, another area that goes black. Okay, there's a platform yeah, want... there, kind of. Yeah. Like, we're not that concerned with the money. We pretty much got everything we want. Yeah, at this point. The only thing like I... There's... I want the uh, drop dash thing, and we have enough for that. Yeah. Armor I'm and... okay with. Yeah. I guess a couple um, of meal tickets, there's like one or two of them that we need. Yeah, there's like one meal ticket left, and at some point we might upgrade the magic, I guess. We feel like it. <laughs> yeah. If we really wanted to, we could just buy all the armors for fun. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I did that. <laughs> like, I own all the armors in the 3DS version for each character, and it's like, okay. This is pointless. Okay, cool. Uh, oh. Thanks. Except for one Plague Knight armor that requires you to have gotten... Every one of the special Plague Knight collectibles, and there's a fucking hundred of them. There's 300 of them. <laughs> I'm missing like three. <laughs> Clean. Yeah. That player's core is great. Yeah, this area is pretty cool. This should have been in, now that I think about it, this should have actually been in the Mole Knight stage. Like, there's no reason that this should have been separate. Yeah, like the Forest of Phasing, which can just go phase itself off. Right. Should have been, is, is a separate stage and for good reason, but this should have been like more of a thing. Especially in Mole Knight stage, because I think that's one of the shortest. And hell, that boss fight's so easy anyway, that adding a little bit of challenge like that, I think it would have made that level better. Yeah. And again, this mechanic's great. Use more of it, please. <laughs> Yeah, the biggest problem challenge with this area though is just kind of running out of magic. <laughs> sure, you gotta be careful with that. But did it first try though. Yeah. Not too bad. Better music note. And we are about to hit five digits because of all awesome. our 
all of our music stuff. There's a treasure there to the left, too. We'll go ahead and do it. Just so we can, or you guys rather, can listen to more Iron Will. Because we cannot. Yeah. We're deaf. Yeah. Don't the soundtrack's great, though. each other talk. We've mentioned it several times, but, like, seriously. Go listen to the soundtrack in some form or fashion. Whether you buy the game or whether you look it up on YouTube. Whatever, man. Or whether you buy the soundtrack on Steam if you're the kind of mad bastard that does that. Sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> however you can get your hands on the soundtrack, do it. It is so good. It is so, so, so good. Jake Kaufman is good He's at making really good. melodies, but also, like, ones that we haven't heard before. Like, unique, interesting, and, and just relatively fun-sounding melodies. I'm, I'm very much yeah. a fan of this soundtrack. Like, I won't 100% say this is my favorite indie game soundtrack because Crypt of the Necrodancer has also got a kick-ass soundtrack. Right. Um, but it is definitely, like, in the top two or three. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'd probably... This is probably my favorite indie game soundtrack. Not my favorite of all time by any stretch of the imagination, but, like, a lot of these tunes are good, and the remixes in Spectre of Torment are also really freaking good. And those boss yeah. themes get you going are really freaking good yeah like that's that's a theme that's a theme with this game yeah. it's very much it knows that it has good music and flaunts it constantly oh yeah it's it the whole is reason the bard characters even here it's just to be like hey in the soundtrack really freaking good don't you want to collect yeah. more of it <laughs> and the answer is yes blah 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 we're gonna get that mill ticket before we, we do it yeah Oh, we're out. Oh, damn! We have he has we have all the meal tickets. There's one more left in the game. Uh, uh do you know where we're at? Yeah, yeah, for beating area three. Oh, okay. Clean. <laughs> which will put us at a ten, which makes sense. Fine, yeah. then we'll finally buy magic stuff, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you. Uh, hell, we could. Um. We just need money for the uh, charge thing, which is. 7,000, I believe. I would hang on to 11,000. Because remember, there's that uh, okay. 5,000, gra that 5 grand seat hit bonus area. Oh, uh, sure. And this is a shortcut. Yay. Look, <laughs> another free music note. Another one of these. God, we got to show that off, too. And this will spit back out in area 3, or area 2. Clean. And right, we're going to go here. And then I think we got time. What we're going to do is fight that gold guy and then do the Hall of Champions. Yeah. And then that'll be it for this this episode. That's well. the armor guy. Oh, yeah. As well as this first recording session. We've been yeah. doing all these back-to-back. -back. <laughs> so we're now <laughs> Which is why our be able to have a break. Which is why our voices are probably sounding to start increasingly strong. Sound... Ah, starting to sound <laughs> increasingly <I> strange. <laughs> strange. Strange. <laughs> strange, strange. Ah. They're similar words. Ah, oh, the Golden Knight just ran away. Cool. Then off to the Hall of Champions we go. Yeah, I you don't got know your how money to fight now. <laughs> I know you can fight the Battletoads in this game, but I don't know how. I wouldn't either. Maybe it's not in the Steam version. Maybe it's just like the Windows Store version. Is there a Windows Store version? Maybe. Oh, by the way, it is, this place is haunted! Ooh, spooky! Oh, in Plague of Shadows, you actually figured out figure out why this place is haunted. See, that's what I like. I like I like the expansions doing a little bit of the lore and story building to this world. Spectre Knight does that pretty good, so I'm glad to hear Plague Knight does a little bit of that as well. There's also two secret areas in here that I'm aware of. Secrets. Yeah. Oh, boy. But yes, ghosts, and then now you can kill the ghosts. But in order to kill the ghosts, you have to smack them. You have to hit them with the shockwaves from those balls of light. Light balls, if you will. Who put these here? <laughs> who, who? Actually, I think it might have been Plague Knight. <laughs> oh. Fair uh, there's one secret to your left right there. Or not. Oh, there it is. Hey. And it is a music note, a health, and a person you can talk to. Um, but yeah. Oh, by the way, you will uh, do that. Um, but the Hall of Champions is something very special. Mm -hmm. Very important, this. 
all of the pictures in the Hall of Champions, which you will be able to see when we kill all the ghosts and light up a room. Yes. Are Kickstarter backers. Mm-hmm. You pledged a, a certain amount. You were featured in this lovely little thing, and uh, aside from just, you know, completing random strangers, uh, there's a couple of uh, YouTube peeps here as well. Uh, yeah. A variety of different Let's Plays. Uh, yeah, the only one channels. I recognize, though, is um, Ego Raptor. We'll take a look at all these guys. We'll give the room a go around. There's room one. If you recognize any of those to... people, let me know. Hold on. <laughs> uh, backtrack really quick to the left. Yeah. Yeah, I think that guy with his head turned slightly to the side might be Markiplier, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Anyways, there's, I think, four rooms we have to clean out? Yeah. Yeah, four rooms. The reason we know the Eager Raptor one, by the way, is it's very obvious. <laughs> yeah, he's got that nice blonde streak. Yeah. They go out of their way to make sure you know. Which makes yeah, sense, he... because the Game Grumps uh, played Did, Shovel like, a Knight. big promotion for this. Yeah, they did yeah. the promo, they did the amiibo, and back when uh, John was on, they literally played the uh, demo. So like, Yeah, the they did a bunch playing. to make sure this was noticed. Which noticed. is good, because this game deserves a lot of attention. Yeah, this is one of the big Kickstarter success stories. One, one, of, the, one of the very few. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the Kickstarter-funded games turned out to be not so great. Exactly. But thankfully, there are um, people like, like Yacht Club out there who have shown us the model of how this shit can work well and what amazing yeah. products can come out of it when you are uh, you know doing things like keeping communication open having pretty yeah. good rewards and uh, not just carbon copying your influ your influence without actually bothering to m update it to fix the problems ukulele mm -hmm. there he is by the way yeah like grump they even use his grump face yeah so there you go uh, and... But, like, not only that, too, uh, the fact that they've yes. gone out of their way to make free DLC for all this stuff. Smack that wall to the bottom right. It's just going above and beyond what any Kickstarter is required to do. Yeah. Like, they could have easily put out Shovel Knight, everyone would have loved it, and been like, yeah, we're done. Next project, or, next Kickstarter. Yeah, uh, or they could have been like, you know, five bucks for the DLC or whatever. Five, ten, fifteen. Right. But and the, I mean, for the amount of content you get for the DLC, I'd actually consider 15 bucks a fair price. Oh yeah, it's very fair. The treasure trove just in and of itself, getting you Shovel Knight in those three expansions is a steal in my opinion. Uh, for oh yeah, absolutely. As well Shovel as Knight like is... all the replay value, uh, yeah. achievements and stuff, like, worth playing more than once. Because I mean, each DLC is, uh, is a brand new campaign. Agreed. Um... Like, if you've already paid for Shovel Knight, that DLC is free to you. And you yeah. know what? If you backed it on Kickstarter, it's the same way, and that's so smart. That is so and smart. It's not, and it's not like Shovel Knight development is cheap. No. I mean, no. making an, it may seem like it's cheap to make an NES game, but let me tell you, no. No. Now I want this it much quality and care put into fucking it. Fucking pricey. Um, this game especially... probably took years, years, years. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, it's not the same kind of development budget as something like, um, like your average big AAA game. I think the last one's to your left. Like okay. on that ledge up there. Uh, okay. Ooh. Oh, there you are. Yeah. There you are, Ghost Boy. More people! Mm-hmm. That we may or may not know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy's great. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty cool. And now, once you've lit up all the rooms, boss fight time. Hopefully we get a good run of them, because I can actually kind of struggle with this guy. <laughs> yeah. The big thing to do is to get both of the balls together. Right. You can to... actually hit him twice with each ball. Here we go. But first you have to be a dick and not hang out up on the ceiling. Yeah, see, that chop, that's chopping down his health nice and fast. Clean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't it didn't have the budget of something like uh, call like any given Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, what have you. Right. Name a AAA franchise. 
but it is still one of my arguments against the concept that games just cost too damn much to make. Fair. Yeah, that's a fair but argument. Really, even with AAA franchises, if games cost so much to make that people have to throw in loot boxes and microtransactions bullshit, then why does Nintendo not have to do this shit? Right. Well, it's also the or reason why that we does see uh, sequels. The CD Projekt Red. Yeah. Because, like, if you are putting that much money into a game project, you kind of want a little bit of an assurance that it's going to sell well. And what sells well? Franchises sell well. <laughs> well, yeah. So, I mean, there's definitely that for Nintendo. They've got name recognition going back farther than anybody else at this point. It's the reason we um, see all the Maddens and Assassin's Creed almost every year and stuff like that. Yeah. Because they're guaranteed to sell well, regardless of what people think about them. But, I mean, even as a counterpoint to that, take CD Projekt Red and The Witcher. Which yeah. does not have any microtransactions that I'm aware of. I think it's only got one DLC. Although that one's kind of a bit of a special case because, like, the government actually funded them a little bit. <laughs> oh, did they? To get that game out. Because it was such, Fair like, enough. a... They were so proud of that franchise and stuff that they kind of gave money yeah. toward game development and things. Which, granted, like the, it's still a really good game. You know, doesn't Yeah, like, the actual it. company that CD Projekt Red... Or the actual country that CD Projekt Red operates out of, I think it's Sweden? Or Poland, something like that? I don't know. One of those players. Um <laughs> I apologize to Sweet CD Project Red, Red for my ignorance. Sure. Um, and anybody but who still, watches this is from there. <laughs> even with government funding, it's not like that shit's cheap. Oh, no. 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 And that game's so, you know, anyway. Like, they they spent yeah. a good bit of money. <laughs> that game has got production values up the ass. Yes. So I just don't buy the game's cost too much to make. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe extra credits will cough up an answer. Eventually. Yeah. They've there's... been working on one for like the past four episodes and people still aren't satisfied. Yeah. And they had to take a break last week. So I'm hoping we'll get some, get some answers this week. Well, that's the thing. But like awesome. the data isn't out there yet. Yeah. <laughs> we we have just know. butchered our way through a whole bunch of bonus shit. We did. I'm going to go to the and shop have... and then we're going to call it here. You have fucking 12 grand. <laughs> and music sheets, too. We, we got rich. That's the great thing about Hall of Champions, by the way. Yes, it's $5,000, but you get more than your money worth. Yeah. At any point, um, if Shovel Knight asks you for money, like a lot of it, you'll... chances are you'll make it back. <laughs> yeah, I would go ahead and grab the Chaos Orb since it's there. Okay. Just add it to our completion rating. Completion rate. I'm going to get the magic stuff up here, too. Yeah, actually just buy as much... Get that first, that way we can get more use out of our uh, phase locket. Okay, I don't want to do too much to where we can't afford it. That's still that's still good. Yeah, that's still good. And that puts us at 70, I think? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, we'll that's, that's plenty. Oh, we'll get to see the dance, too. Oh, yeah, we can and get a pun! Oh boy, what do you have for us, Croker? We completely forgot about these guys. <laughs> I traveled with some horse adventurers, but they were also negative. Actually, that one wasn't bad. <laughs> I like the wordplay on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a fan. He's he's real proud, real proud of that. As he should be. Yeah. Give us our magic bouncy ball, you fuck. Cool. We got worthless item. Yeah. We did it. Everybody. We are we are that much closer to 100% completion. And now, no. a dance. Do the dance. You defeated Spectre Knight? Now behold like my greatest treasure. Ago. Dance. Ooh. She got broccoli hair. <laughs> she really does. And she just kicked us. <laughs> what a bully. They're cheering her on too. I love it. Except for the witch. He's like, yeah, I, don't, I don't understand this new thing we'll dance. Also, we're not doing shit. <laughs> wow. And another music note. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. That's why you got to talk to her. Yeah. 100% everybody. <laughs> we aren't getting it, we... but we're getting, we're actually going to get pretty close. Yeah. We won't have all of it, but we'll probably yeah, not I mean... be able to get all the armors, but most of the smaller items we'll, we'll try and get. Yeah. We may not be able to get all the armors and we're definitely not getting all the music notes, but we'll get everything else. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do as much as we can, and we'll, we'll have a, a, a fun time. Uh, but that'll be the end of this episode here. I'm going to get back onto the map to where we were. Uh, yeah. Next time, when we get back to recording this, we'll be tackling Area 3 as well as the Tower of Faith. So this should be a two-recording session and done type of deal. Yeah. 
And hopefully these episodes aren't uh, messed up in any way. So we don't have to play through this stuff again, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, after three recording sessions, we're probably going to start to get to get a bit sick of it. <laughs> a bit annoyed. Uh, but if that's the case, I guess we'll see you in May. Um, <laughs> probably, yeah. Question of the day. I'm going to go off on Kyle's point. Uh, do you think games are too expensive to make? And uh, if so, what do you think are some legitimate ways around that that don't involve loot boxes and bullshit? <laughs> Because if you got that answer, I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, some game companies would be interested in figuring that out. <laughs> yeah. So at the very least, there's that. But uh, guys, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we'll be coming back and doing these later. Kyle, where can they find you at for those who want they to can, Yeah, they can find... I haven't gotten it from the past four episodes. Yeah, in case you forgot. <laughs> yeah. They can find me at YouTube uh, under Live from the Asylum. They can find me at WordPress under For Fun and Profit. They can find me at Twitter and Twitch under Basilisk ST, and they can find me at Standing Trials under Basilisk. Links in the description below. Go ahead and check it out, especially the uh, the YouTube channel, because you just started yeah. the Psychonaut series. And, and the Battlefront for it. Yeah. <laughs> he did, and the Battlefront 2 episode that will be going up the day we record this. Yeah, so go check, go check that out as well. You know, there's a lot of stuff to see. But, uh, yeah, everybody, yeah. hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm Aiden of Blue Couch Productions, and I'm signing off. Bye-bye.